American Hustle Written and directed by David O. Russell Don't you just love it when a movie has an incredible story and a great cast that can make you feel engaged from start to finish? With a funky 1970s soundtrack and original characters. American Hustle is based on the true scandalous story of Mel Weinberg and the Washington bribery scandal of the late 1970s, early 1980s, the disco era. The names of the real people and places were changed. To make a long story short, two scammers, who are also lovers, get caught by the FBI and make a deal with them to sell out other criminals so they can get immunity for their own felonies. But of course nothing goes the way it's supposed to go. Con men Irving Roosevelt, played by Christian Bale, who gained 40 pounds for this role, along with his partner Sidney Prosser, played by Amy Adams, are forced to work for a young hungry FBI agent, Richie DiMasso played by Bradley Cooper, after getting caught for their frauds. DiMasso's goal is to catch some tax evaders, thieves and corrupt politicians, but as he gets closer to that goal, he suddenly wants more and tries to pull off the impossible. His boss, played by Louis C.K., can see that his overzealous colleague is getting out of control and tries to stop him, but he fails because his attention-seeking boss is also blinded by the chance to make a name for himself and become famous for busting the mafia and exposing a ton of politicians for dealing with them. For Irving, the situation is getting dangerous. He's in serious trouble for deceiving not only his new best friend, the New Jersey mayor Carmen Polito, played by Jeremy Renner, who is the most tragic character in the film and more collateral damage than anything else, but also a frightening mafia boss. On the brink of insanity, he's under pressure, playing dirty mind games, lying to dangerous mobsters while having a crazy marriage, getting pushed into new mess he partly created further and further by the FBI. How much hustle can he take? Irving suddenly has an idea how to get out of it all. Thanks to his unpredictable and somewhat stupid wife Rosalind, played by Jennifer Lawrence, there are twists and turns everywhere. This movie gets under your skin, especially the love story between Irving and Sidney and the weird friendship between Irving and the mayor, who he betrays in the end, and the only person Irving ever feels sorry for betraying.